everybody Gabe Suarez here from Suarez Tactics. So, um, you know, what I'm doing is if I get uh, emails inquiring about stuff, uh, you know, these days, um, uh, I, you know, usually just respond with a video like this. And um, I've had enough questions about certain topics that, you know, I'm just going to address them like this for everybody because there's probably other folks that have the same questions. Um, so um, one of them was the... Uh, material that we teach in, in the class called Killing Within the Law. Okay, I'm going to try and make this video short, but you know, it's, it's going to be, you know, six, seven minutes, but it, it'll, it'll be worth it. Okay, now, look, um, gun people like to think for themselves for the most part, um, but I think they can be very intellectually lazy at times as well. Um, they, they think that the, the pistol in their belt is their talisman. That's the only thing they have to concern themselves with. Uh, they don't spend time, you know, doing martial arts or lifting or staying fit or anything else because they think that that Ruger LCP or whatever the fuck they have in their holster is, is going to be all that they need. And they have a little card that, uh, you know, they'll call if something happens and, and all of this. Look, guys, life is, is, is not that simple, okay? Um, and so um, I, I got into a discussion about my, um, my position on this. Uh, that after you shoot a bad guy that's trying to kill you or hurt you or something like that, you have to give a statement uh, to the to the to law enforcement people. Okay, and you know I was taking the task that well that's not what so and so says and that's not what this guy says and that's not what that guy says. Look, I'm not I'm not a lawyer. Okay, um, so I'm not going to benefit from you keeping your mouth shut and requiring my services for the next two years while you're in trial, okay? My, my only agenda is, um, you know, that uh, uh, I want you guys to make the right choices and the right decisions, and I want you to be prepared for reality. Um, do I want to sell classes? Yeah, but, you know, I mean, look at my schedule, guys. I'm not doing that much anymore. I'm retired. I got my police retirement. I sold my business. You know, I've invested well. I could just go and live on an island somewhere and tell everybody to fuck off, but um, I, I don't want to do that because I feel like there's there's a gap in the in the, the training world. There's a gap in the knowledge of, of people, and I feel like I have to share what I know. Uh, and uh, so there's there's no agenda for me. Okay, now look, you shoot a bad guy. Okay, um, and of course you know we're talking about something that's justified. If you have doubts about that, you know. Uh, come and, and, and take the, the killing within the law class because the first half of it is all on how to justify your decisions, how to get your mind in the right place. We, we dumb it down and make it as simple as possible. My God, we even give you a flow chart on how to make decisions, okay? Um, so you can process information in a non-emotional manner and arrive at the right conclusion. And we, we, we beat this into the ground and it's like, okay, you know what? It works, okay? But look, so you're going to have to call 911 because in America, the good guys call the police, okay? The bad guys don't call the police, and so you have to call them, uh, and you have to tell them something, okay? Uh, and when the first responders get out there, you're going to have to tell them your side of the story. If you don't, you can bet your ass that the other side is telling their side of the story, and it ain't going to be the same story, all right? So you have to get your side of the story out there. Uh, and there are ways for you to do that. There are ways for you to uh, drape the mantle of victim over yourself. All right. Now let me let me expand on that a little bit. A police report has a place for three uh, or three positions where your your name can go. All right. It can be a witness. It can be a, a victim, or it can be a suspect. Okay. That's it. Uh, you know, you don't get to be undecided. All right. You know, you're like, like your genders. Uh, and so um, the, the, the guy that's writing the report, the officer that's writing the report is, is kind of kind of be the one that decides who the victim, who the suspect and who the witnesses are. Now, you don't get to be a witness because you took part in this. Uh, witness is only somebody that saw or heard or, you know, something of that nature. OK, but if you're a participant, you don't get to be a witness. Um, now the suspect, that means that they think that there was a crime and that you committed that crime. And then the entire 
force of the investigation and the report is all focused on proving that you are a bad guy and that you should be punished as a bad guy and that was a crime, you committed it, and so on and so forth, okay? Um, victims don't have any of that. Victims are treated with a degree of deference. They treat it with a degree of uh, uh, respect and care and so on that suspects generally don't receive, all right? Uh, and so it is in your best interest to self-select as a victim uh, at the conclusion of a successful gunfight, okay? Uh, and there are ways that you can do this. There are ways that you can uh, uh, express your story in an articulate way so that you have the first responders and the detectives all nodding in agreement that they would have done the exact same thing in your shoes. You're not going to get that if you shut up and wait for your attorney, the free attorney that you get with that special membership that you just got, I don't know what kind of attorney you're going to get for free because I know plenty of attorneys and none of them are free. Uh, but, you know, the investigation is not going to wait for your mouthpiece to halo jump onto the crime scene and stop the action. Okay, the investigation is on a timetable, right? In, in, the, uh, in the famous words of Samuel L. Jackson, TikTok motherfucker, okay, we're on a schedule here. We're going to get this report written. Bodies are going to get thrown in the van and taken away. And you, my friend, are either going to be selected, self-selected, I would hope, as a victim or as a suspect. If you're selected as a suspect, your life is going to be shit for the next few months, maybe the next few years. Uh, if you are selected as a victim, you're probably going to go back to your regular life in short order and everything is going to be fine. How do you self-select as a victim? You tell your story in articulate and compelling ways so that you are believable and the report is designed or uh, uh, constructed in a way to prove that the bad guy that attacked you is the bad guy and you're a victim. You don't do that by shutting up. You do that by telling your story. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have had... Uh, uh, judicial people, we've had police command staff, we've had investigators, we've had attorneys, we've had all manner of people through, through the class, and uh, they all agree that if you follow this procedure, your chances of going home and sleeping in your own bed and never setting a single foot in a courtroom is probably pretty high okay so listen guys think for yourself okay think for yourself you know uh, listen to the, the 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 killing within the law material if you think it's all a bunch of shit then ignore it all but you know what we're doing zoom classes uh you know periodically you don't even have to leave the house okay uh and uh i guarantee you that you will agree that the material that we present is life-changing and it will give you a comfort about the way an investigation is conducted that all of those fear mongers in the aftermath mafia don't want you to have because they want you to buy into their services and pad their pocketbooks and pay for their kids college and buy them new boats and you know all that kind of crap okay which you do not have to do okay so Give it a try. Listen to the, the lectures that I've got coming up on Zoom. And uh, I'll bet that you agree with me that this is the way to uh, prevail in the aftermath. Okay? Anyway, that's it, guys. Gabe Suarez here. Suarez Tactics. I approve this message. All right? Now go.